Previously on Night Bewitched, the party tried to charter a ship only to steal it when the Dockmaster sold them out to Alduin. Thanks to the ship, the game opened up a lot of side quests, including a rematch of Typhus Jr., who the cultist revived as a zombie. Winterfall Cavern Full Heal Hooded Potion Birdie G Dry Ether Ice Brand Silver Wing Twenty Seven G Put an Ether Life Powder. Viper Sting Skill Do I already have that? 25G Arcanate Ore Corrosive Poison Trinket Holes in the Ground Potany Fur 36G They don't do anything, but I have to wait for this to go here, then I can use it to bounce off to here. I see. That is tricky. This is where I drop down if I fail. A secret area. Lucky Egg. ADG. Might Fish. Ring of Ice. Oh, hey, miss the chest down here. Potent Potion. There. Blue Flame. Yes, that's the key item I wanted. Okay, your heal point in the cat and the teleporter. Now, you know what they say save your game early and often. It's gonna get darker as I go in, but I have the blue flame. Is it just me or did it get really dark all of a sudden? It's called the Midnight Desert for a reason, Rufy. Don't sass me, I thought the name was rhetorical. Why is the Midnight Desert so dark? Beneath this desert is the Lost Kingdom of Zamaste. They were involved in the War of Polonia centuries ago. When it became apparent they were losing, the Queen of Zamaste banished her own kingdom to the Underworld. And she froze it in time. Crazy, huh? Anyway, the Eternal Night is a result of, is a result of that crazy magic. Thankfully, we have the blue flame. We should be able to explore the desert without a problem. There's no drought mechanic, is there? Life powder. Corrupting potion. Potent potion. 40G. Residual potion. Potent ether. Blast hammer. 12G. Full heal. Sacrifice skill. That does not sound easy to use. Sacrifice hit point to restore MP, but she also has the least hit points. Residual potion. Mist potion. 48G. 
33G. 36G. Poison Ether. Life Powder. Lucky Potion. Free Action Potion. Arcanate Ore. Potion Potion. Potion Ether. Full Heal. 50G. Resurrect Skill Trinket. 23G. Potent Potion. 45G. Dark Temple. 80G. Residual Potion. Mimic. Hopefully it's not as strong as the one I fought before. Mega Elixir. Elegant Dress. A boss. Hard. Guardian left arm, right arm. I don't suppose I can poison something like you. It can be poisoned. Crap. Group damage. Blessing won't be that great, but it's good enough. Expose weakness. Try blind. Glowing of energy. Is that good or bad? Hmm. Probably do some... Potent Brew Self. Okay, reduce strength. Meditate. Hmm. Smoke screen just in case you do something nasty to me. Okay, glacial spike. Go ahead and strike because I need some aggro on you. Ambush for massive damage. Hyper focus. Ow. Barrage. Okay. You will use Blessing on everyone. Hmm. Double Strike on Guardian. Int him. Glowing of energy, so we're getting stronger, but we're almost done.
There we go. Okay, let's continue onwards. See if there's any treasure back here. Midnight Desert 1. What the heck is this? A settlement? Good day, worry travelers. Or should, I, should I say good night? Ho ho. What do I uh, what do I do all night in the desert, you ask? The same thing anyone else without a social life would do. Surf the internet and argue with people on Reddit. Hmm. Permanent stat boost. Yeah, if I get into if I'm really desperate, I suppose I could just buy a bunch of these just to get everyone maxed out on stats. Here's a gift for keeping me company. Transmutation stone. Can Gwen can now transmute essences and other essences and items. Feel free to come back anytime. Since you've been here once, you have the option to skip the desert and come straight here. What is this? It's about time. I think. How long have I been here? Oh, the hide and seek uh, side quest. Now there's only one more. Gwen is no longer blinded. Secret area. All right. Are these mimic chests though? I wouldn't be surprised if they gave us mimics even in a secret area. Buy the cherries. Ring of fire. Mist potion. Dragon cave network. Eye drop. 42G. Power Brace. Ether. Whoa, it all goes one way. Potion. Oh no. Forty five G. Okay, back in cave four. What the rock stayed put? Weird. Orcanate Ore. Potion. Intimidate skill. 40G. Okay, this is five. Uh oh, a rock puzzle. Knockout poison. Oh boy. Life powder. Furry 5G. Okay. Yeah, it turns out so, some rocks stay permanently, some do not. It's very strange. What's this? A secret area. 15 out of 19. Free action potion. Hard tack. A rock puzzle. Do these rocks mean anything? Do I have to push them somewhere? Lucky potion.
Whoa. Ponyfer. The heck is this? Fifty five G. Big elixir. Arcanate Ore Putin Potion Ruby Hmm so more Golden Life Powder Complicated cave network. This took me all the way over here. The heck? Corrupting po Potion. Dragon Rock. Blood Rays. Dry Ether. Antidote. Giga Bolt Skill Trinket. 42G. Oh, a cutscene. Kind of weird we haven't seen a single dragon in the Land of Dragons, huh? Yeah, maybe they're all hiding. Oh, there's one. There's another. Wait, do we have to fight them both? And another. We're surrounded. What do we do? You're a long way from home, humans. I am Straza. What foolishness brings you here? I am Roof, and these are my companions, Gwen, Stray, and Uno. The dragon known as Typhus the World Breaker is coming back soon. And we need Dragonite Ore to slay him. This mountain is the only source of Dragonite Ore, a material that is lethal to us. We once lived here to guard it from humans who would exploit it against us. Now we live here as we have nowhere else to go. And now after you can have nearly brought us to extinction after your kin has nearly brought us to extinction, you've come here to simply ask me for it. She has a good point. Rufy, I don't think we fought this through very well. We have no quarrel with you, Strazza. Is there some way we can prove it to you? An exchange, maybe? Huh, an exchange, she says. Can you bring our kin back from the dead human, or purify our tainted wells, or perhaps return to us the land that is rightfully ours? No, we cannot. But we can't leave without the Dragonite Ore. Without the it's Straza, Typhus is a threat to all of us. Perhaps you should focus more on the threat in front of you, human. If you want the ore, then take it over our dead bodies. You're attacking alone? What does that do? Does it increase her defenses? Oh no. Do I have anything to remove that? Intimidating Shout could lower their defenses, though.
For now, let's just use Shiv so you take some DOT damage regardless of my buff. Okay. I'll shout, meditate, hyper focus. Ah, it's a lot. Party brew. Ceiling Strike. Ambush. Hmm, you're already blinded. Let's use Headshot. Blinded two of us? Probably should have equipped some blind resistance. Hmm. Going strike. I dropped cell. Oh wow, there goes all my MP. A swift strike. Hmm. Shadow step based on car target's current hit points. That does not sound like it'd be worth it right now. I think it only works if they're at full hit points. So let's just go with plain old double strike. No use. Party brew. Dealing strike. Double strike and headshot. Dragon two. I've been defeated. End my suffering, human. It's the least you can do for me. Where are you? Healing you, silly. We didn't come here for a fight, remember? Also, I brought some of this. It's dragon grass. It's good It's good for you, right? Where'd you get this? Um, everywhere? It grows all over the place. It's just a weed to us. It doesn't grow around here, does it? Probably did at one point, but it wasn't enough to support their population. They can't expand out further without risk of being killed by us. Correct, and that's why we're going extinct. Didn't humans and dragons used to get along? What happened that caused us to be so afraid of you? Typhus Hepin, young human. Typhus despised our friendship with humanity. He feared that they would betray us. And betray us they did. By disguising himself as a human, Typhus convinced our ally, the Desert Kingdom of Zemaste, to attack us. The ensuing war almost brought Zemaste, Helonia, and our kingdom to an end. Zemaste now rests beneath the sands, and what you see here is all that's left of us. We cannot slay Typhus, for his strength was greater than all of ours combined. Using the last of our magic, we banish him to Purgatory, the rift between life and death. Let's assume you are the ones to slay Typhus. What happens next? The fear we have for each other is mutual. It won't go away anytime soon. It'll take time. It's something we have to work toward one step at a time. In the meantime, we could bring you dragon grass to eat. It grows all around Nilheim. We have enough for all of you. 
I applaud your enthusiasm, young elf. We were once strong allies of your kind. Dragon Knight Ore. I will give you the Dragon Knight Ore as a token of trust. Where we retain that trust is up to you, human. I will pray you will I pray you will make the right choice. Thank you, Straza. We won't let you down. You have my word. Too bad we can't just teleport here. I will never trust humanity, not after all that's happened. We cannot coexist. I refuse to believe it's possible. Why do you look like Typhus Jr.? I can't enter any of your houses. We want to share a special bond with the elves. Together with the Dragon Knights, we would ride into battle and lay waste to our enemies. Outside of Dragon Rock, only four dragons remain. Typhus and his son, Typhus the Younger. Vijala, concubine of Typhus, and Ogopogo, ruler of the seas. Ogopogo was the strongest of all of us, but after the Great War, he lost his sanity and now resides somewhere beneath the ice. Dragon grasses are main food sources, but it's, as, but it's scarce on Dragon Rock. We venture outside Dragon Rock to feed at great peril. Typhus is an incredibly powerful sorcerer. His power is far beyond ours. Yet we not know why. Perhaps his gift came at the cost of his own sanity. He was not always so cruel. Something changed him. Even after all this time, so many questions remain. Okay, is there a quick teleport out, though? Dragons are way cooler than I thought. I hope we get to come back here soon. I agree, but now we're, that we're done here, we need to take this Dragonite Ore to someone who can reforge Sylvans with it. Does anyone know a blacksmith who can do that? Yeah, but he lost his hammer, didn't he? There's this blacksmith in Westvale. He's worth a shot. We can get there by sailing southeast around the land of dragons. And our next stop is Westvale. Let's go. Sounds like I was supposed to do this before doing the optional stuff around Westvale. Do it uh, going in the midnight desert. Oh well. Wait, what? When was there a cave here? Humans wants to use the cave entrance on the left to reach us quicker. I've unsealed it for you. Hello, name's John Dark. Can I help you with something? I was wondering if you could reforge a weapon for me. Sure, let's see what you have. You want me to reforge Sylvans? Yes, with this ore, can you do that for us? Of course, this is every blacksmith's dream. But should we, I wonder if Olo would do a better job. Well, I have to advance the story anyway, so I don't think I have a choice. I'll get right to work. I should be finished by tomorrow. In the meantime, why don't you all run the room at the end? So what is everyone's plan for uh, after a quest is over? I haven't really thought about that. I guess I'll keep making potions like I always have. What about you, Rufy? I want to return to Halonia. Surely the king will let Shrey and I return if we slay Typhus. Really? You want to go back after all the nasty stuff they did to you? King Floyd was just looking out for everyone. Surely he'll forgive us. Alduin might be a problem, though. I can't believe you'd go back after all they put you through. You're nuts, Rufy. Uh, you two talk like a married couple. Oh yeah, what about you, Shrey? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I've been so caught up in everything that I haven't had time to think about it. Before all this, I was just a farmer. I guess I'm a, a squire, but I really don't know what my place in the world is anymore. I'm sorry, I guess I dredged up some bad memories. That's okay, I get sad sometimes, but you guys are great at cheering me up. Your, your turn, Uno. Don't know. I'm gonna step out for a while. Did I say something wrong? Don't Uno like staying in a room of her people. Don't worry about it. Uno? Shh. They said they were receiving uh, money from a mysterious benefactor. Is that one for that benefactor uh, to Uno or something? W what were we watching? Those two grew up poor. They couldn't afford to feed their son. They were forced to sell him off to make ends meet. Then that child got sold off into slavery. They never saw her son again. No one's buried here. Wow, how do you know uh, about all this? Cut the slaver's carotid artery with a kitchen knife. My first kill. Um, at least he deserved it, I think. 
That doesn't really answer my question, though. Who are you, Uno? Laws only affect the poor, Stray. You'll learn that someday. When the law fails to enact justice, I step in. I don't claim to be a good man. I give hope to the weak, but I'm still a murderer. I accept that. Stray. Huh? You're a good kid. I think you'll find your place soon. West Wales Inn has great room service. We'll have to come back someday. Anyway, let's go visit the blacksmith and see if Sylvan's is ready. Hello there, your sword is ready. Since the free fortune gave it a new look, I thought it deserved a better name as well. Sylvanaras. Sylvanaras, I like it. Now all that's left for us is, re is to return to Gwen's sister to have it enchanted. What the? That's cutscene on the ship? What the heck? Have you ever been on a boat before this one? That that was a weird cutscene trigger. Holy shit. Only once. I haven't gotten a guy out much, to be honest. Man, I thought my game crashed there when it, when it's, the screen started darkening. I lived with my sister until I was old enough to study alchemy on my own. Until up until then, I didn't really go anywhere besides Northshire. Melody and Meredith are my family, but I didn't want to be a witch like them. I told them I'd rather live on my own and become an alchemist to help people instead. I know how that is. Being a knight wasn't my first choice either. Really? Yep, but my parents were nice before me, and they made sure I was trained and educated to become an even better knight. It wasn't my choice. What I wanted didn't really concern them. But I had to get used to it. I, didn't, I don't mind being a knight today, but if I had the choice back then... What do you want to do? Promise you won't laugh? Well, yeah, I promise. I want to be a dancer, you know, like a ballerina. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh. I'm not laughing, I'm not laughing. I don't know how to dance. I bet it'd be fun to learn, though. You think so? Maybe we could take lessons together. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I think. Hey, we have a problem. Did, did something happen to the boat? What's going on? We're being approached by another ship. It's Helonian. Oh, shit. It's, it's him. Shit, can we, can we just outrun it? I can't outsail a Helonian frigate. Our best bet is to let them approach and parlay. If we don't, we risk getting shot down. Shit, it's Alduin, isn't it? What do you want, Alduin? Ahem, Jaiden. Lady Roof, we have given you ample opportunity to prove your innocence, based on your recent actions. On behalf of my father, King Floyd, you are all under arrest. Please abandon your ship and turn yourselves in at once. Prince Jaiden, with all due respect, we're trying to save the world. Don't let Alduin fool you into thinking otherwise. You know I hold deep respect for you, Lady Roof, but the theft of Sylvans and the stolen ship is just too much. We can't let this slide any longer. Please don't make this harder than it has to be. If we don't finish our journey, Typhus will have us all killed. We can't stop now. Open your eyes, Roof. Are you truly willing to throw your life away for this woman? This isn't about her, Alduin. You're the one who should open his eyes. Look at her. Does she even look like a witch to you? I... Man the cannons. What? My lord, perhaps. Even Alduin wants to uh, have mercy here. Mind your place, Alduin. This was your idea to begin with. Fire the cannon. Sink their ship. Wait, stop! Well, isn't this just wonderful? Um, at least it's a nice tropical island, right? True, and we all survived. You always know how to look at the bright side, don't you? Yep, that's me. Always bright and cheery. Heh. <laughs> We're not going to starve to death on an island in the middle of the ocean, are we? If we're lucky, Alduin ship will find us. At least then we'll die quicker by execution. Wow. We can hijack his ship if we beat everyone on board. We'll be fine. I know someone here who can help us. Really? How do you know that? I used to live here. If we follow the path ahead, we'll find him. We should probably look around and scavenge wherever we can find too. This island's home to the Eastport Freebooters. They should still be here on the island somewhere. Eastport is where we were supposed to go in Absinthia, but the demo cut off. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Night Bewitched. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.